Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to build a, a simple styrene structure. In my last video update I showed you a couple of the structures that I had uh, scratch built from styrene. And so in this one, this is another little structure I needed to scratch build uh, specifically for the yard at Big Lift. I needed to make a billboard uh, that the Santa Fe put up uh, when they opened the Big Lift intermodal facility. And I went ahead and scratch build it. And so this video is going to show you how I used styrene to make this simple uh, scratch built billboard. And this is, uh, they're real easy. Uh, billboards are prolific in society. Uh, every layout could probably use more of them. And so you can buy billboard kits, but probably for just as easy, you can go ahead and scratch build them. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video today. Now before you start working on a billboard, the first thing you'll need to figure out is what you actually want the face of the billboard to uh, say. And so uh, for this one I went ahead and just designed this based upon the, the actual Santa Fe billboard. Um, but you can use old time advertising or something else. But you want to go ahead and get that printed out and then figure out what the size you're going to need for the face of your billboard. So for mine, I actually printed the uh, the face off in a couple different sizes. I wasn't sure which one I wanted. I had this extra piece of uh, rectangular styrene from an earlier project I'd used, and that actually lined up with uh, one of the sizes. And so I'm just going to go with that. I don't know what the actual dimensions of this billboard are, so I'm just sort of eyeballing it. Which is another real good thing about scratch building is you want the overall structure to look correct when you're finished, but the actual dimensions don't necessarily matter sometimes if you're just building something, unless you're trying to really match a, a prototypical building and want it exactly uh, right. Now while this billboard, um, today I'm using uh, styrene to build it, uh, you could also build them in wood. Uh, certainly billboards were uh, made from wood in the past and some still are today. Uh, the only thing different really with the technique is you'd want to uh, use a different glue. Now I've got a bunch of just uh, strip styrene uh, floating around and so I'm just going to end up using uh, some H beams and L beams and uh, C channels that uh, I just happen to have. Uh, again the sizes are not overall important. Uh, just get a, a size that looks right to you. Okay so now that I figured out that my little strap piece of styrene is actually nice and square, we can go ahead and uh, get started building this. Uh, first thing is I'm going to actually use a, a chopper, uh, which is a cutting device, to go ahead and uh, cut the length of my H-beams for the back side of the billboard. And while uh, the chopper device certainly is not uh, necessary uh, to scratch build or anything, it just makes duplicating uh, pieces and parts that are the same size uh, a lot easier. And instead of actually having to measure my billboard and figure out exactly how long it is, uh, I can just set this up and to cut and then I can cut however many of these little strips that I want to, and they'll all be the exact same length. Okay, now that I got the horizontal supports uh, cut, I'll go ahead and just line those up on the back here. I'm just putting these in place, I'm not gluing them or anything. And then I'll line up the vertical supports to kind of eyeball how tall I want the vertical supports to be. And the uh, piece on the right is actually just uh, the scrap from cutting the horizontal ones. And that looks tall enough for uh, my eye, so I'll go ahead and just make the uh, other support the same length. Okay, and with a uh, quick adjustment of the chopper, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, cut this piece. And so once all your pieces are cut, uh, you want to go ahead and lay out the, uh, the supports here and get your spacing correct uh, before you start trying to glue things together. And once you've figured out where you want these pieces and that you're going to be able to get them nice and square, um, just go ahead and put a little drop of glue on. I use uh, the Plastruck plastic weld. Um, I think it's very simple to use. It works really well uh, with styrene. And the idea here isn't necessarily to get a super strong bond. You just want a little bit of a bond on it for right now just to hold and that what, then you can make sure it is all uh, square and it's exactly the way you like it. All right, so after adding the uh, third horizontal support in, you can see this is uh, kind of what it looks like. And again, once you get all of this uh, glued sort of with a, just a temporary hold in place, and it's exactly the way you like it, then 
you can go back and add a little bit of glue uh, to all the joints to get them strong enough so that they can hold for the remainder of the project and for their life on the layout. And with that complete and the glue uh, dry a little bit, I'll go ahead and just do a, a quick test fit. And again, with all scratch building, that's something you'll want to do uh, a lot is test fit to make sure it's coming together the way you want it to come together. Now with the main supports in place, I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, crossing supports. And with these, I'm going to use some uh, L girder stock. And initially for this first one, I don't know exactly how long it's supposed to be, so I'm just going to eyeball it and uh, go ahead and cut it. And with this, as long as you've got enough styrene around, if you make a few cuts that are where pieces are, are too short and you have to discard them, that's sort of okay. Uh, you're not going to break the bank by messing up a 25 cent piece of styrene. And if you cut it too long, you can go ahead and trim it. So I cut this one, it's probably a little bit too long, but uh, just sort of eyeballed it and then I'll put it back up and see. And once I get it to the exact length that I want, again, I'll go ahead and use that chopper to go ahead and cut the other ones so I, to that exact same length. And now with all the uh, me measuring and chopping done, I can go ahead and glue these into place. And like the first one, I'll just put a, a small little dab just to get it to uh, hold in place, make sure I, it's where I want it, and then put it in. One thing that I'll let you know, if you're going to use an L girder uh, on the backs of this type of support, pay attention to which way the L is facing and try and have them face the same way on their other supports. Um, it just sort of make, looks the overall structure to look a little bit rather than them sort of haphazardly uh, being whether the more vertical piece is on the, the top or the bottom of the L girder. And now with all the uh, end uh, angled pieces in place, I'm going to go ahead and move on and do the uh, center pieces. I'll first do two uh, long ones that will come from the top down to the center of the bottom. And then add in... Uh, other angled pieces so that you end up with a whole bunch of triangles on the back of this. And so here's what the uh, back of the billboard looks like at this point. And then after adding in the final uh, four uh, angled cross beams, then you end up lo looking like this. And so this is essentially the back of the billboard uh, pretty much finished. So the next step will be to add in, there was one more horizontal support and then the base in the pillar that the billboard attaches to. For the final uh, horizontal support, I went ahead and used a, a little piece of C channel that was cut to the same length and then uh, got it where I wanted it and again tacked it in place and then went back and uh, added some additional glue uh, to hold it in place. And with that complete, we can go ahead and move on and build up the support structure that this uh, sort of cage for the billboard sits atop of. Now the first part of this was to build sort of this shelf that the uh, billboard stands upon. And so I went ahead and did that using some pieces of C-channel for the sides with a flat piece of styrene for the top. Now once I cut the four pieces of C-channel to fit to give me the right size rectangle I wanted, I had to notch uh, the corners a little bit to get the pieces to fit together nicely. And again, just sort of eyeballed it and got them to go together and again, Cut the notches a little bit small to start with and you can slowly make them slightly larger so that they fit together and make a nice flush corner for you. And so once those were all glued together I ended up with a uh, little piece that looked like this. And then again like I mentioned before go ahead and uh, sort of test fit everything because I really had no idea how wide this platform was. Uh, I was just eyeballing it so go ahead and hold the rest of it together and make sure it all still looks right to you. Right. And one little tip if you don't know already, uh, for cutting sheet styrene, uh, you don't actually have to cut all the way through it. Just uh, scribe it uh, with a, a razor or exacto knife or something, and then it'll actually snap uh, along that scribe, and you end up with a, a pretty clean edge doing that way. And the main pillar for this billboard was a, a circular, and so I went ahead and just glued a, a piece of circular uh, styrene uh, tube uh, right in the, uh, the center point. And then I went back and added a little bit of uh, support uh, structure to it. The real billboard that I am uh, copying here, uh, in addition to the center post, had two uh, angled supports uh, on each side of the post that uh, presumably were acting as uh, some of the support 
structure for it. And so I went ahead and cut uh, two triangles. Again, not sure if these angles are right, not sure if they're the, the right length or anything, but they looked about right based upon the photo. So went ahead and cut those and then just glued them along the center line of the tube uh, up against the underside of the base and it provides a good visual uh, sort of with the idea that there's some more uh, supporting structure there. And so now here's the uh, finished base. And so now sort of what we have to do is uh, put it all together and get it painted. And here's kind of uh, what it will look like uh, once it's all done. Okay, another little tip, uh, because this is a, a vertical billboard that I have to put somewhere, I need something to kind of hold it in place while I'm working on this part of it. So, since it's a, a hollow rod for the superstructure, I just jabbed a, a pencil into a piece of foam, and that works as a nice stable support for it. So after figuring out uh, where the center line uh, of this uh, was and where the posts needed to be, I uh, just went ahead and uh, put a, a small drop of glue on there and then lined it up to make sure everything was square. Now one thing with this is even with a, a large amount of glue on the ends of those uh, H girder pieces and on the base, that's not a very strong joint, just that type of a butt joint like that. And so what I went ahead and did is cut some very small uh, pieces of L girder to attach to the H girder to sort of act as brackets to help hold uh, them in place. And then once all that was dry, I went ahead and uh, painted the entire structure uh, stainless steel, uh, which seemed to be about the color of uh, what the structure was in the photos. And this is what it ended up uh, looking like here, sort of uh, not exactly where it's going to be on the layout, but uh, you can see big lift sort of there in the background. And I also painted the uh, back of the billboard, uh, sort of the place where the ad is going to go, a uh, light gray. Now the front side of the billboard where I'm actually going to glue the, uh, the printout, uh, I went ahead and left that as raw styrene. And so now you can really see it uh, starting to come to shape here and getting really getting a good idea of what the final uh, project is going to look like. Now the next step is going to be to go ahead and add the actual uh, lettering onto the front of the billboard. And so what you want to do here is actually cut out, uh, in this case this uh, printout that I had, cut a larger uh, piece of paper than what you're going to need. Don't try and cut it to the exact dimensions you're going to want uh, at first. Go ahead and cut it to be bigger than what you'll need. And you'll see why here in a minute. And so now I'm going to go ahead and glue the sign onto the styrene uh, while it's still too large. And I'm using the uh, matte uh, version of the Mod Podge, which is similar to a white glue, only it dries uh, perfectly clear and is a, gives a nice uh, matte finish as well. So you want to put this on sort of not too thick, not too thin, but you want to make sure you cover the whole thing. And then while the glue is still wet, uh, line it up to make sure your image is nice and square with the billboard and then press it down into the glue and set it aside and uh, let it dry. And then once that's completely dry, go ahead and uh, turn it upside down and with a, a brand new, very sharp, either X-Acto knife blade or razor blade or something, go ahead and cut the excess uh, piece of paper that's hanging off the billboard off. And just be careful that you don't cut into the uh, styrene at all as you're doing this. Now once all the uh, excess paper is cut off, uh, you're going to want to actually put some more of the Mod Podge on it, uh, this time on the front. And again, this dries completely clear, so you can go ahead and coat the top of it with the Mod Podge, and it will seal it uh, onto the, the bellboard backing and everything, and make it uh, so the edges are not going to curl up on you in the future, and it uh, really looks like a, a nice professional sign that was done. So you just uh, brush this on, 
and uh, try not to get too many streaks in it, but they uh, do level out and disappear a little bit uh, on there. And then uh, the trick here is to not glue it to whatever surface you have it sitting on. Uh, and so you have to uh, sort of very carefully uh, move it <laughs> to a, uh, another uh, location or two as the glue is drying or else like in this case you see here it would have just glued itself to the uh, paper I've got it sitting on. And then uh, I went ahead and used uh, super glue to go ahead and attach the sign onto the backing uh, and everything. And normally when I use super glue uh, I don't actually apply it like this where I'm just squirting the super glue directly onto the object. Uh, normally I would uh, squirt it onto a scrap piece of styrene or something and then use a toothpick or a, uh, a hard tipped uh, swab, uh, which you'll see me here use in a second, uh, to apply the glue or a micro brush or something. Uh, in this case, because of the way this was all built, uh, I decided my hands were steady enough to uh, put the super glue directly on it. Uh, but it's not probably the, uh, the most recommended technique uh, out there. And once the super glue is uh, sort of evenly applied, so it's a, a real thin uh, bead, then uh, I'll go ahead and just press the billboard into place. And that's all there is to this uh, project. It, uh, like I said, it's very simple. It took me uh, two short evenings uh, to put it together. Uh, I think it looks really nice. It uh, actually matches the uh, the prototype uh, billboard that was there uh, that Santa Fe put up um, pretty well. And uh, I think all of you guys out there, if you could scratch build these things super easy, again, whether you're making them out of styrene or wood, and there's so much uh, period advertising around uh, for whatever era you model, um, it's a great way to help capture the era that uh, you're modeling by putting period advertising on billboards around and then just scratch build some of these billboards. Uh, it's really good. So with that, I hope you will uh, give this a try at some point. But as always, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Keep running your trains, keep operating them, and keep enjoying them. And we'll catch you at the next video.